Hello, Hustlers. How y'all doing today? Come on in. Let's get started with this Hollywood hood girl to the hood. All right, y'all. The production is Baked Potato. Mm -hmm. The director, of course, Ribs. Hey, leftovers, baby. Uh, the camera is Dell. This is scene one. Take one. Let's roll the tape. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your snacks and your well, your food. And let's sit and chat with this hood girl to the hood. So, yeah. I don't know why my light is changing. So, let's say prayers. And I think y'all see what we're going to be eating and drinking. <laughs> let's say prayers, y'all. My God, I just say thank you for another beautiful and healthy body. Thank you for mercies and grace, Lord. It's always sufficient. Oh, Lord, forgive us of the sins that we that we uh, have against you, Lord, and knowing that we can't do it by ourselves. Have your way and your way only lord in the name of jesus i pray let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body in the name of jesus i pray amen and amen y'all i didn't have <laughs> i didn't have my mic uh on the stand sorry i was like oh that's gonna be a little low ain't it screw it on up baby i like this i do like this mic Speak directly into the mic. <laughs> Look at y'all. We um have some more salad. We have a baked potato tonight, though. Uh oh. See, yum yum. Give me some of. Of course, we got these ribs back here. Mm hmm. I think these are the last of them. I think I have one more left. So look here, y'all. I, I was uh, cleaning out the refrigerator and. I saw my chocolate wine. This was all was left. And I was like, why I didn't drink that? So we're going to drink. We're just going to sip this. Because, you know, today is not one of my days that I drink. So, toast. To all my new subscribers. Thank y'all. Sip, sip the good hood wine. That's that chocolate wine, y'all. Mm-mm. That does chocolate and red wine just pairs so well. Oh, y'all, look what I got. Something different. Thousand Island. Mm hmm. Y'all, I have a. You remember the other day I was talking to y'all? Well, you know, I'm on this rant. Uh, about our race. Oh, good Lord. About our race, us. My boss uh, will be a speaker for uh, our company as well uh, for racism. Let's not be silenced. I'm so glad to hear what she have to say. I would like to do a panel as well because I know I have a lot to say. Y'all know that um, I'm passionate about us. I know that uh, this time is ours. I just want everybody young and old spread the word to let them know that it's our time. It's time to change. It's time to come together. Together, people. It's just our time. Y'all have to know that. But let me first give y'all a bite of this rib right here. We got salad on it, y'all. That's okay. Take a bite. It's still good. It's just so good. Yes, y'all. So I'm gonna take a. I love salad, y'all. When I when I have that taste, I can eat it every day. Mmm, it's good. And of course, y'all, I got bell pepper and tomato, red onion, cucumbers. Of course, the uh, 
Let us. Mm. Red onion is just good. Let's dig in this potato. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. I got all that butter, salt and pepper, cheese, sour cream. Uh huh. Try. Ooh. Come on back on this side. And I know everybody know how to bake a potato, right? Mm-hmm. Wash it really good. Mm-hmm. Pat it dry, let it air dry by itself. Prick them holes in there. I'm making a mess, y'all. Prick them holes. Get that uh, olive oil, rub that olive oil down. Salt and pepper it. I just lay up a, a piece of uh, aluminum foil in the in the oven and just sit that down and let them bake. I don't wrap them, and so you know the skin is full of salt and pepper because that's how I bake it. And you can eat the skin. You can eat everything about this potato. Now you know I don't like skin <laughs> on things. Y'all know that, especially my sausage. But sometime, I ain't gonna eat all this skin on this potato, though. Mm. I haven't had a baked potato in a long time. Mm, 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 mm. That is just freaking delicious. It is really delicious. Y'all want some? Uh oh, it's a red onion in there. There you go. Yeah, yeah, give me some of y'all. I know my hair on top of my head. It's about to come out. I already went into my hair bucket and picked the next hair that I'm going to be wearing. Mm hmm. Oh, that's so good. You know, I can just eat this with potato and salad. Mm hmm. Mm. That's good. I hope my rib not jealous. <laughs> Y'all, we have been so busy at work. So busy. This is so good and fresh. I got the crunch. Um, my son's um girlfriend called me. And uh, they having some T-bone steaks off the pit. I'm not a big steak girl. Y'all know that. They are having some other pork steaks, some other potatoes, and something else. It sounded really good, too. One day I'm going to make... I'm gonna make a steak out. I only, I only do a steak like once a year. If once a year. But I think I wanna find a nice ribeye. What's the best cut, cut of steak, y'all? Put it below. Put it down below. Mm. 
down. Corona is still far and wide. Continue to pray for my friend um, Betty Loud and her son Corey because they both have the COVID-19, you know. He was in the hospital, but now he's home. So, y'all keep praying for the family as well. I better take a bite of this rib, huh? You know, COVID is right there at the door, at your door. You know? I've been looking at videos with people that say, you know, I covered myself. I did what they, what they told us to do and I still got COVID. Because you know it's airborne, it's fluid. Mm. Y'all, this is good. Barbecue, real barbecue? It's good. <sighs> mm. Y'all uh, remember yesterday I told y'all about Ricky Smiley's daughter, the 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 host, the the uh, radio host. Um, she was shot multiple times here in Houston. She had surgery yesterday. She uh, might have to learn how to walk again. Please pray for the family. Please. And the sad part about it is that a black boy shot her. I know I'm preaching to y'all. But until we learn to respect each other, our culture, our skin, this black skin, until we stop hating each other and envying each other and just being fools, y'all want everybody else to respect us. Mm. I'm going to leave that right there. But this morning, because of everything that's going on, because I think I, I understand Revelations, I've read it four times. I don't know everything, y'all. I just have a little understanding about it. But I, I read a passage today I want to share with y'all before my time go out. It's a lot of food. Y'all, I was on um, Just Food Reviews today. And he about to take a trip to Greece. Mm-hmm. So me, me and him was chatting in the chat room. And I know I want to go to Italy and Rome. He said he went there three years ago. He told me, please go. I would love it. But do it a train. Do it on do it go to go by train. I've never traveled on a train, y'all. That would be a great vacation. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Mm. I'm so sorry, beautiful husters. How y'all doing today? Really? How are you guys? How y'all holding up? How are you guys protecting your children? You know? Because, you know, children can only be in, in the house for so long, you know? Hmm. And speaking about children, my youngest uh, two grandbabies called me two times today. You know, I'm I'm good to be. I'm glad to be a grandmother. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna chase the skin. Mm -hmm. Here goes. Y'all see it. ain't bad. I just don't want the skin. <laughs> so y'all already know, huh? I was going to say something, but I'm going to say it on, on Friday because it's, it's going to be nasty. So I'm going I'm to wait <laughs> to put it up on Friday where we do that nice, nasty stuff. Yeah. Mm, this salad is just good. I don't want that skin. I don't want this potato though. I remember a long time ago, it was a restaurant here, a big old barbecue restaurant. They had good barbecue. And they had the best barbecue potato huge piled on meat on meat on meat on meat and with everything else that was a good potato i don't even know if they open now because so many businesses are closing y'all mm. okay i'm coming up on time for me to get out, so stay with me, y'all. I need to read something to y'all, okay? This is uh, First Peter, uh, chapter one, verse thirteen through twenty-five, okay? And this is what it says. Therefore, with minds that are, alert, that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children do, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. Since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially, live out your time as foreigners here in a reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed, from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him, you believe in God who raised him from the dead and glorified him. So your faith and hope are in God. Now that you have purified yourself by obeying the faith, so that you have sincere love for each other, 
That's what I've been saying for the last three days. Let me read that again. Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart for you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. For all people are like grass and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word, the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Amen. And amen. For the Father, for the Son, and for the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, I, I read that Bible four times. And I'm still reading because I can't do it. I can't, I can't live a day without reading something in my Bible. Sometimes I read something and I get this aha moment. Sometimes I read something and it just pierces my soul and my spirit again. That spoke to me just this morning. So look at y'all. It's time to say goodbye for now. Thank you guys for coming in, sitting and chatting with me, eating with me. Don't forget Friday Lives is nice, nasty, and provocative. Don't forget 7 o'clock p.m. Sure. Mm -hmm. So bring your sexy mind with you. So let's sing ourselves out. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance to round on the other side. So whatever you do today, my beautiful queens and kings, do it good. And of course, do it with love. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Peace out, people. Bye-bye.